Allah, Allah, Allah. Welcome, ya Shahr Shaban. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad hatta yardam. Alhamdulillah, we are reaching to the month of Shaban. Inshallah, make this month as in our Naqshbandi uh, Tariqa, uh, as the Mulan Sheikh has, Muhammad has prescribed an additional salawat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this holy month. As much as one can do, it, Mulan prescribed a thousand salawat, inshallah. Make that uh, if on top of your daily awrad to make that uh, word of salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Salah on the Prophet has endless fawaid, endless benefits, and endless favors from keeping away sickness to sa'atul rizq to contentment of the heart to uh, easing of problems. To heaven, inshallah, Jannah as well. Uh, some ulama they wrote 30, some ulama they wrote 200 fa'id upon uh, benefit from Salah al Nabi. So, Ya Rabbi, we're asking you to grant us tawfiq, to grant us success, to make that extra effort, inshallah, to make salawat on the Prophet وسلم, uh, in this holy month, month of Sha'ban. Inshallah, barakah of this salawats that everyone is doing and barakah of this month being the month of Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam. Allah lift this affliction. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this affliction uh, is, is our own doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Dahar al-fasad fi al-barri wal-bahri bima kasabat aydi al-nas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, corruption appeared on... Uh, in, on land and in sea because of what people are doing because of what people are doing so this is an opportunity for us now Alhamdulillah Allah did not like previous nations take us suddenly while we are heedless no he is giving us an opportunity to repent as Mulana Sheikh said in Mulana Sheikh Muhammad said in his sohbah today he's given us an opportunity to turn back and repent and to correct our ways and we're all khata'oon. Kullu bani adam khata'oon wa khayru khata'oon. Khata'in al-tawabin. Wa khayru khata'oon al-tawabun. Wa kama qala al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That we're all sinful uh, human beings. And we're all weak ones. And we're all in need of Allah's mercy. And we're all heedless sometimes. Illa ma rahima rabbuk. Except those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted them the qurba of being his awliya or his anbiya. The rest of us are are in need of repentance all the time and istighfar and in need of salah ala nabi and in need of hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu we need to to do our own accounting i don't know in other parts of the world but here we have uh, normally in april is the month of taxes is the month where you pay your taxes to the government so the month you do your accounting um, and if you have to pay, you pay. And if the government owes you, they they pay you, which is, is not normal. Normally, you have to pay. But this is the month uh, of accounting now, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is putting the whole uh, earth on uh, in khalwa, in seclusion, if you want to call it, forced uh, forced isolation. Uh, people uh, all of a sudden uh, they are detached from the places they enjoy to go to and the uh, people they like to see and um, things they like to do, activities they like to enjoy and do, all of a sudden that is uh, not, uh, not available. And subhanAllah, insan has to take a ibra, has to take a ibra, has to take a lesson from, uh, from everything. And, uh, this lesson is for us. It shows the qudra of Allah and the, the frailty and the inability and the, the fragility of our own existence. We live as if we're going to live on earth now. We live as if we're going to live forever. 
and we we enjoy the the ornaments as we said earlier that now even a a commoner uh, enjoys the luxuries that kings didn't enjoy a few hundred years ago of comfort and leisure and luxury but uh, subhanallah this dunya is a temporary station it's not meant to be our final destination it's not meant to be for us to pour all our life force into it it's not meant to pour all our time into it and energy to take from it what what is necessary and we build our akhirah we build our uh, eternity eternity is forever and this dunya is temporary is is a fleeting moment and it's so fragile and it's so there are no guarantees that our life uh, will be will reach 70 years or 50 years or 100 years. there's no there are no guarantees so so this should be a jolting everybody into reality that your your life is in his hand he is al hay he gives and he takes as he likes we are our, everything is in his hand our sustenance if he decrees no food no food we are dependent on him for everything and yet we turn our backs on our lord and we give all our life what is ibadah what is to worship allah what is to what is to, to worship we have to know him to worship him and we have to know him and, and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants wants your heart wants what's in your heart wants mahabba wants you to love him love allah for that which has given you of ni'am love him even if you're even if we deal with allah as merchants we have to love him just for 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 all the favors we are swimming in daily Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's hadith And Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Love me for the love of Allah Love me because I am his messenger and Habib Love me because I am Rahmatullahi Ilaykum Love me Because your Lord loves me We have to love Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So Allah is interested in that He's not interested In uh, empty actions with no love with no mahabba with no real uh, connection to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so take this opportunity this time now we are spending let it be a time of resetting let it be a time of reflection let it be a time of repentance let it be a time of tadarrah pleading with our lord to spare us not just Not just to spare us coronavirus, or we have to die one day if we're meant to go. If Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's time comes and we're meant to go, in in by such disease, it's His will and His decree. But to spare us, to spare us, su al khatima. To spare us a bad ending. To spare us leaving dunya with hearts that are not filled with the love of Allah and His Prophet and to grant us these opportunities now to start afresh now the month of Sha'ban inshallah is here the month of Ramadan is coming inshallah Allah make us to reach Ramadan and to give it its due right and and let this be a, a, inshallah a, a beginning of from now until the end of our lives, every day to be lived in in Ubudiya, in servanthood to our Lord, in inshallah make us true servants to Him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us also to see our Mashaykh again and to accompany the men of Allah again and to see their holy faces and to be in their presence. That ni'mah also is a great ni'mah. Alhamdulillah, yani for those who have the chance to be with uh, 
the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and real 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 pious servants. May Allah bring these days again back and inshallah to be with them dunya and ukhra. Amin Allah tawfiq wa hurmatil Habib wa hurmatil Fatiha.